بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Okay, so in this small tutorial, I'm going to present an overview, introduction to arrays and also to search algorithms in Java. So we are going to consider a very simple uh, search algorithm that is the linear search, and the uh, the concept is very simple. Now we assume that we have an array that contains a sequence of values, and then we would like to find a key. For example, in this case, we would like to find the value 3 in this following array. So the linear search, it means going linearly through all the values until the key value will be equal to the search uh, to the value in the array. So for example, here in the first iteration, we have to compare 6 and 3, it's different. So we go to the next element that is 4, we make the comparison, it's different. So until here, when we reach at this iteration, we have the search value is equal to value, the value of the array, so the algorithm will stop. So we are going now to make a small implementation of this. We have a class array search. So first of all, we are going to make a main function. Okay, and then we create uh, an array. So let's take here uh, a large value. So this is the size of the array that is uh, equal to max value. So I will create an array containing all these elements. So the array in the beginning it's empty. So the first thing I need to do, I need to put value in the array. Okay, there are different ways we can put random values, but now I'm going to make a for loop. Okay for uh, i starting from 0 and in the max value I'm going to put the index i in uh, the array of index i so the element will be equal to its index this is on purpose where we would like to have a sorted array okay the elements are arranged in the increasing order and uh, this is because we are going to look for another uh, search algorithm that is the binary search which requires to have uh, a sorted uh, array but for the linear search it doesn't matter if the array is sorted or not sorted it's not it's not a problem okay so now uh, we will have an array that contains uh, values and then we will search for uh, we will make a linear search so the first thing we need to do here I'm going to create a method that is called linear search, okay, which takes as input an array of integer values and here the search value. So let's define the search value. Let's say the search value is equal to the maximum value minus one. So this is the maximum value that we define here. We, will, we are going to search for the last value in the array. Okay, so now all we need to do is first of all to define and create this method. I'm going to create a new method here now that is the linear array okay so it takes an array a as a parameter and a value x that I'm going to looking for and what is the principle here we have to go through all the elements until the elements of the array will be equal to the key. So what we need to do, we need to make a very simple for loop, okay, for every element here, I'm going to compare the value of the array at index i with the value that I'm looking for. So let's see that we call this a key, the value that we look for, and then for int i equal to 0, okay, i must be smaller to the length of the array, okay, and I will increment i in each iteration. So what I need to do, I need to check if, okay, the value at index i, a i, is equal to the key that I am looking for, okay, in this case, I'm going to write n equal i, and then I will make a break. So break here will uh, close the loop. Okay, exit the for loop. 
And let's say that uh, we need to define n equal to minus 1. So in the beginning, if we don't find any value, n will be minus 1. And this is the position. So here, the linear search will return, let's say, the position of the value that we search for. So in the beginning, the position is equal to minus 1. Okay, if we find the key, then we are going to update the position to the index of i. And finally, we exit the for loop. And all you need to do now is to return the position. So that is the linear search. Okay, we can improve a little bit. Uh, we would like to count the number of iterations, okay, or uh, the number of operations. So every time we make uh, a comparison, let's increment the number of operations. And at the end, I'm going to show the number of operations. Of course, since here we have uh, a sort of array, the number of iterations will be equal to the index i, this is what we expect. So the number of operations in linear search, that is this number, and this number will be incremented each time there is a comparison. Okay, so that's all for now. We can now uh, run the algorithm. Okay, uh, so we can actually uh, run the algorithm and uh, find the search value. So linear search, uh, the position uh, is equal to person D. Okay, and the, the, let's say position or location. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, we see now. Okay, the linear search found the maximum value minus one at this position. Of course, if I change this, okay, I'm going to look for the value five. Of course, since the array is sorted, okay, it's going to to find at position 5. It's very simple. We can actually here uh, put some uh, random values. Okay, if we uh, dot random. Okay, so random between 0 and 1. Let's make some random values between 0 and 10. And here we, we need to make the cast. If you want to put random values, okay, and here it will return as the first iteration. Okay, we can see here it found the value at position six. So one interesting thing is here to calculate the time that a linear search spent to find the value. Okay, so for this I'm going to consider time zero, the time just before starting the search, and time one. Okay after doing the search. Okay, and finally here I'm going, I'm going to, to show this value that we found. Okay, so this is the linear search time. Okay, it's equal to T1 minus T0 because T1 is the time after doing the search and T0 is the time before doing the search. So the difference will be the duration of this. Okay, so let me come back to the original uh, version of the array that is uh, an increasing order. Okay, so we can see here the time span is very small. Why? Because here the location, so it's only after five iterations that finds the value. But now let's assume that we put maximum value minus one. Okay, let's observe what happens if the search value is large. So now the time span is 200 milliseconds. It's a large value. Okay, if I decrease this, okay, to a smaller value, of course, the search time will be much less. So we can see. No, I divide. It's 42 seconds. If I multiply by 5, so observe now it's 42. Now I multiply the max value by 5. Now it's almost 200 milliseconds. So it's almost 5 times when you increase the number of uh, elements, the search time will be increasing uh, uh, with 5 times. So it's linear. That's why we call it linear search. 
because research time linearly depends on the number of values that are stored in the array. This is why we call it linear search. So I can repeat here. It's here 200 milliseconds. If I divide the number by 5, okay, observe now. So 200 by 5, it's almost 40 milliseconds. So if I, I multiply by 2 here, it's almost 880 uh, milliseconds. So we expect to have something around 8 milliseconds. And this is exactly what we expect. Okay. So we can observe that here, if we have a very large number, the time span will be uh, large. So there are other approaches that are more efficient than linear search. And this is what we call the binary search. So binary search, uh, it has another algorithm. So the idea is very simple. Imagine that you have a sorted array. So here, the, the, the requirement is that the array must be sorted. The elements are arranged in a certain order. 